nuts and the California connection to it all. Good morning, you guys. I'm live in Torrance. This guy is known as the Unigeezer. Why? Well, clearly he's on one wheel, but Geezer will get to the bottom of that extreme unicycling coming up in just a few minutes. All right, we're going to meet a man now who's kind of controversial around here, Allie. <laughs> it all has to do with what he calls himself. It's very confusing. We want answers. Allie McKay has the latest on this story. The Unigeezer? He looks I young. I agree 100%. Yeah. No, when I pulled up, I'm like, uh, where's your grandpa? Exactly. I'm, I'm right? here to do the story with your grandpa, the Unigeezer. He does not look 53, and by all, any stretch of the imagination, 53 is not a geezer, but it's something that he calls himself. Why don't you come on up here? This is Terry, piano tuner by day, unicyclist by night. We've got some video of you as a young guy. How long or when did you start unicycling? I got my first unicycle about 1966, so I guess I'd put it about 43 years ago. Okay, and, and then you said to yourself, you know what, I'm just not that into this. You put it away for a few decades, right? Uh, about four to be exact, yeah. Okay, and then you went on, you said, I want to do extreme unicycling. Yeah. You have this, which is basically... What, a mountain bike unicycle? Tell me about what this all entails. Yeah, this is a purpose-built, custom-made mountain unicycle made specifically for riding off-road, just like a mountain bike. Okay, but tell me about the, the shocks and everything that you have on there. Sure, well, there's no shocks, actually. The shocks are provided oh. by your legs <laughs> okay. and the high-volume tire, okay. okay, which holds a lot of pressure, but it can compress easy to, give, to, to allow you to hop and take drops. What is this thing? This is a hydraulic brake, and okay. It, okay, and that helps you on the really steep descents. And we've got some video of you in trails. Do you just see a trail and think, I could do that on two wheels, why not do it on one? Is that Ab what you think? Absolutely. I I've never really ridden a mountain bike, so this is, this is my main uh, transport on the trails, and I love it because unlike a bike, you don't have gears to help you climb and you can't coast. So it's And what do mountain bikers think of you when you're up there on those trails? They love it. They're usually pretty impressed, and they say stuff like, wow, I thought, you know, what I did was extreme, and that's, right. that's really awesome. In fact, I taught two mountain bikers to ride a unicycle. They ended up buying one similar to this, and they have never gone back to mountain biking. This is all they ride wow. now. <laughs> See, I had no idea. I asked him, I said, where do you, where do you get a unicycle? He's like, unicycles.com. Like, I should know this. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to get into this when we come back. Unigeezer is what you call yourself. Yep. Uh, geezers aren't liking that because geezers <laughs> are a little bit older than you. I'd say 30 years older than you. Sorry to our 83-year-old viewers, but you're more of a geezer than this 53-year-old. We are going to tackle that and other tough issues, including him jumping over my face. Oh, uh -oh. what? Goodness. Oh, yeah. All right. A lot of trust involved. That's how okay. I roll. Of course it is. <laughs> That's how I roll. Ah, uh, we with get the it. Wheel. <laughs> she needs a rim <laughs> shot. Right. She yeah. needs a rim All right. Thanks, Thanks, Allie. We'll see you in a bit. Still ahead this morning. Details on a pivot. Good morning, Gail. I mean, Allie. Oh, my goodness. Very similar. Very similar. It happens all the time. Don't worry about it. Check it out. Do you guys love extreme cycling? What about extreme unicycling? We are going to see how he's going to land that. Don't do it now. Coming up next. Uh, we've all heard of extreme sports like motocross and base jumping, but unicycling? This is kind of crazy. Uh, Ali's live in Torrance with a guy who calls himself the unigeezer because he's <laughs> a geezer because he's 53. This kid looks like he's 25. He does not look 53 you. years old. Yeah. And you Thank know what? You. I in, know. in respect to yes. all geezers, you got to earn that right to call yourself a geezer. <laughs> there you go. You can't just Amen. All, that's like me. Geezer? You know, that's like Preach. me all of a sudden saying I'm a sex Well, wait, I've already earned that. Uh, and <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Poor Allie. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Woo, all right, check it out. The Unigeezer, that's what he calls himself. I would not call him that, but 53 years old. He says he's in the best shape of his life. He has lost inches off of his waistline from what? Unicycling. Can you even believe that? We're going to, whoa, flat. whoa, goodness gracious. Now, here's the question a lot of people at home are wondering. You wearing a cup, Unigeezer? <laughs> Absolutely not. Don't whoa. need it because when you do stuff like that and drop your weights on the pedals, you're up off the seat. So. Okay. And you do a lot of your stuff on trails. We saw a video of that earlier. Really Take me fun. through this bike because, you guys, how much would you expect to pay for a unicycle such as this? I don't know, three, four hundred dollars? Three or four hundred dollars? Three, four hundred dollars? <laughs> I don't know. How much would you expect to, to pay, Unigeezer? 
Well, before I added all the add-ons and upgrades, it's about 700 bucks out, oh. uh, you know, off the rack, so to speak. You know, it's only okay, got one but tire, with right? the upgrades, yeah. how much? Oh, about 1200 You can buy $1, a bicycle $1, on two wheels. Right. Now, these pedals, how, right? You could get twice this for half that. <laughs> yeah. But um, tell me a little bit about the uh, the tire, everything, from the pedals to everything. The well, golly, pedals, pedals are pedals, pedals tires are tires. Uh, this is a Fusion Free Ride seat, and um, it's got carbon fiber lift handle here for hopping and jumping, holding on to. Carbon oh, so fiber seat base, hydraulic brake right there with a the little thing we call a spooner to help, hey. you know, modulate it on and off. We've got a quick release. <laughs> we got aluminum, uh, which is aircraft quality aluminum, very strong, very durable. And then we've got these custom cranks, which are ISIS cranks with its spline, which means it's just really strong. Oh, well, I know what spline means. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't at all. Very good stuff. We're going to see stuff. you go up there really quickly. We are running out of time. Check him out. This is just something that he does to prepare himself for the trails that he goes on. This, he just gets my on friends, like is that. the Unigeezer. And I think a Unigeezer should be at least in your 80s. But I have a feeling with the way he's riding and the way he is feeling, wow. he will be doing this well into his his 80s. Check it out. But no Hello. cup. Hello. His name is Terry. With no cup. I think that's the most oh, interesting thing. That one no like that cup. That's right? Hello. Go. That might have. Can you imagine? He's like, no, it felt great. Everything's good. <laughs> I don't even know. When Are you going to try back, it? He is going to ride. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try this one, though, because this one seems like it would be pretty easy to get on. A big tire. What the <laughs> heck? How do you get on that thing? We are going to see it. He's going to set a land speed record this wow. morning here in the parking lot of Torrance. Excellent. I just on made that up. Wheel. But stay tuned. It could be, could be fun. Could be good. All right, Ellie. Thanks, Ellie. Thanks. Yeah, 15 hospital workers are fired. Uh, this guy claims to be 53 years old. He calls himself the Unigeezer, and I, I'm not sure that I believe that he's 53. He showed us uh, some of his cycling equipment, uh, and we're going to talk to Allie because she says she's going to try to unicycle. What? I don't believe you. I love that you guys, I love that you don't believe that he's 53. They do not believe that you're 53. He looks too young. I don't young. feel it. Tell him to take off the helmet and sunglasses. Yeah, let's take let's, a look. Let's look at his face. Mark would like you to take your helmet off and sunglasses. Can we see your face? It really won't help because I looked at it earlier. He just looks young. He looks like a kid. Would it help yeah. if he took off his shirt? <laughs> would that help you? I know it would help me. Okay. First. You need money first. Well, who doesn't? All right. All right, what do you think now? Still a little older? Still doesn't look no, 53. Still, I'm still, let me just say, this is a great example of why everyone should unicycle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You look super young. Okay, now you're going to jump over me. Is that what's happening? Yep. Is that safe? Of course nope. it's safe. I've got a helmet on, don't I? Uh. <laughs> oh, rah, rah, unicycle's got jokes. Okay, <laughs> I'm just going to lean back. He's going to uh, jump over me, and then we're going to see the most amazing, huge unicycle. Oh, gosh, oh, I have to tingle, hurt. so if he oh. lands on my bladder, I am done. Ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. Don't miss, sir. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Oh, okay. Nice. All right, that nice. was it. Very nice. good stuff. As I get up. Ooh, that was really nice. <laughs> We're going to throw to some video of him riding on trails. Now, this is what you're used to doing, is riding through in the mountains, right? Correct. On the most technical, that means difficult, rocky, uh, steep terrain. It's what I live Whoa. for. I love it. And when guys on two wheels see you doing this, are they just shocked, amazed, want to be your best friend? Yeah, they're usually pretty impressed. I've converted a couple mountain bikers to riding unicycles, and nuts. they've put their uh, mountain bikes in mothballs, so th that's all they ride now. Very good. Well, coming back to us live here, why don't you come down here, because Whoa. this is even bigger than the <laughs> unicycle we were looking at before. Well, okay. we're going to see you get up here, and you actually ride this on the beach for how many miles? Yeah, when I'm not riding the mountain unicycle, I break this one out and do a nice little 50-mile ride from wow. uh, the beginning of the bike path to Will Rogers Park and back. And you have a little handle here. What is this for? Well, it just helps take some of the, you know, you can rest on there like a, almost like a bike handlebar. Okay. Over well, let's, let's see you get on here because I think that's half the battle, if not all the battle, getting on a unicycle. And, oh, oh my gosh, effortless. How cool is that? He says he's dropped about four inches in his waist just from unicycling alone, and he can get up to 17 miles per hour. But here's my fear. You're getting up to 17 miles per hour. There's nowhere to go but off the front. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh he my goodness! Really How fast. cool is that? All right, enough of I the know user. the Unigeezer. We want to see you on this um, thing. Yeah, here's the problem with that. Um, I've got some issues. We all know that, but um, it's just not a, it's not a good look. And I haven't signed the appropriate waiver for the city of Torrance. I apologize. Uh, yeah. That's that is amazing yeah. stuff. 50 miles no, on the beach, you know, just like a little leisurely ride. I know, and right? He does it so effortlessly. How yeah. cool is that? 
Very nice. Well, Unigeezer, you get two. Way to go, Unigeezer. Yeah. Nice, nice. 53. Way to go, right? Yeah. All right, still ahead. A husband in England is in pretty big trouble with his wife.